Welcome agents, today I want to cover a few things to come out since Friday. An ETF member has posted on Reddit dispelling some of the rumours within the community with a really positive vibe. Now today I wanted to go over this, but also show you and talk about a secret rumour having been found at the Air and Space Museum, along with some vendor reset stuff. If you enjoy this one, please hit the like button below, subscribe for dedicated Division 2 content, and let's start. So a Reddit post from Air Jarhead was posted only a couple of hours ago, as of me making this video, titled from an ETF Echo participant, let's dispel some myths and rumours. I wanted to talk about this because if it's true, and I'm really hopeful that it is, this is really positive news. So let's go through the rumours and response here. Number one, the devs don't care what the community wants, they're just going to do what they want to do. Now when I told my CAM members what I was going to do to the ETF, I asked for their input. Almost half of the people I asked said, why bother? They aren't going to listen anyway. And I have to be honest, there have been times that I've believed this too. This myth was shattered the very first day of the ETF. One of the devs gave a presentation on an upcoming change. We had a discussion and the ETF members came to a consensus and recommended a change. The dev went back to his team, discussed our proposed change, and then they actually made the change. Another thing that we suggested was more transparency within the community. The next day the devs responded with this and that was that state of the game uh, kind of like this is what we're going to be doing in September livestream infographic and those were just a few examples. Trust me, they care deeply about what we think and what we want. So this might explain why the devs released the September livestream infographic that I was so surprised about in my last video. I've said all along that the communication has not been good enough so I just really hope this was a lesson for the devs. It's very good to hear that the devs presented an idea and the ETF members were directly involved in recommending another change, which the devs listened to and then went on to implement. What this change is, we don't know. And of course, whether this change is some of the community wants, again, we don't know yet. But I'm positive that with the ETF members that have gone there, uh, this is actually going to be really good. And I'm sure the change will be really good as well. And it will be what the community wants. And, and this is just really positive news. Number two, there is no use in posting your thoughts on Reddit because the devs will never see it. Your very own Joker Unique was there, and Joker bought an 80 to 90 page summary of what Reddit users want. Joker has been to a few ETFs and he has had an open line of communication with the devs. He is an invaluable member of this community, and it was an absolute pleasure to meet him and get to know him. Get ready for the sheepdog on his behalf because he freaking puts in work for this community, and no one should take that for granted. Now, I actually respect Joker, uh, Joker Unique a lot. He's been committed to the Division franchise since day one on Reddit, and Reddit is where I spend the majority of my time searching for stuff that's coming to the game. And if anyone knows what the community wants and what people have been posting about on the Reddit forum, certainly, it's going to be Joker. So it's really positive to news that, you know, they were there and they bought a dissertation summarizing everything we all wanted, 80 to 90 pages. I mean, that seems like a vast amount of information, but in my opinion, the more the merrier, the more the devs can see what people are talking about. They'll get trends on particular stuff that people are asking about. And I'm sure Joker knows what those particular things are. So really glad that he, you know, he went there and he, he put, it, put in the work and he's putting his input. And I'm sure that's going to make a big difference with T. U6. Number three, the ETF is just a publicity stunt. Nothing could be further from the truth. If this was a publicity stunt, they would have paraded us in front of the cameras during the scheduled State of the Game. I know it was cancelled, but State of the Game wasn't even a blip on our schedule. We were there for one reason only, to tell them what we thought about the game and discuss their proposed changes. Moreover, if it were a publicity stunt, the ETF would have been full of YouTubers and streamers. There was one popular streamer, Solid FPS, who doesn't even play the game anymore, and there was one popular YouTuber, Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer. Most of us were just people that play the game. Now, this rumor seemed to be the most talked about when the ETF was first announced. I'm sure a lot of people think it's, you know, a publicity stunt, and I can't say for sure if it is or not, but I have to agree with Air Jarhead here. If it were, we would have seen a lot more surrounding the ETF from the devs, but instead, We've actually heard nothing. It's almost been radio silence, and it would have been the opposite, surely, if this was some sort of stunt. Now, they put out all the information coming on the ETF under an NTA as well, so none of the ETF members will actually be able to talk about what they've discussed. Again, another reason why I believe this is not a publicity stunt whatsoever. I think the ETF is exactly what the devs said it would be, and this uh, post here from, from this uh, person that went is just confirmation of that. Number four, the devs don't even play the game. This was squashed the moment I stepped through the studio and I showed up late due to weather delays. There was no way it could have been staged. 
I saw several people playing the game. Sure, most of them don't play as much as I have, but honestly, would you? I know when I was on active duty, the last thing I wanted to do was boot up Digital Combat Simulator when I had those few precious moments at home. Now, I don't think anyone really believes the developers don't play their own game, although some of the changes they've made will certainly make you think that. You can look at every other game that's made a bad decision before, and I bet almost all of them still played their own game. Take Destiny 2, for example. It's clear the devs play a lot of their own game, but they're the same people that implemented Bottom Tree Striker Titan and Roman Supers. There was never any doubt in my mind that the devs still play their game daily. Overall, I think this post just got me very excited for the future of this game, and especially Title Update 6. To be honest, I'm not expecting all of the things we've asked for to be implemented in Title Update 6. I just think that's far too much work. There is a lot, a lot of stuff that everyone wants, essentially. But with that said, if we get the majority of the most important stuff, then I just think it will be a very successful update. And I will be fully invested back into this game. Because it's no joke, no lie here, you know, I've not invested much time to this game recently just because I'm waiting for this update to come out. But what I am doing is I am excited for the change because I think there's going to be a lot of them. And this post, along with what I've seen on Twitter um, and all that other stuff from other ETF members, I don't think there's there's a lot. I don't think any of these people are lying here. I just think that they're passionate and they're hopeful and, and they think that the changes that are coming are actually going to be really, really good. So, you know, I'm excited. I, I have a lot of respect, certainly for T Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer. I don't know who Air Jarhead is, is properly. I, I've never watched Solid FPS, and I don't really know anyone else that's going. But from the people that I do know and, and from what I've seen, I'm excited. I, I think we're going to get a really, really good update with Tile Update 6. So I cannot wait for Wednesday's State of the Game, which, of course, I'm going to have covered here on this channel. Next up, and a secret room has been found in the Air and Space Museum. Now, I was tagged in a tweet from Obi to a YouTube video by GC Rock, where they showcase the secret room and how to access. So, all credit goes to GC Rock. I will leave a link to their video in the description and their channel. Um, but I'm going to show you how to do it now, anyway. So, what you need to do is you need to find three crosses. Uh, they're yellow, essentially, and shoot the purple balloons that are below them. The three locations are as follows. Now, just after you clear the first area, you enter the underground area here, you clear the room full of enemies, and on the wall just here, you're going to see a yellow X, which marks the spot. Now, below that, there will be a purple balloon, which you just need to shoot and pop. Pretty easy, to be honest. Um, you'll do this for the remaining two as well. So, moving on. The next spot comes just before you enter the planetarium. You enter this walkway. And on the left, you're going to see another yellow cross with a purple balloon below it. Now, from what I understand, this can sometimes glitch out. But for me, it didn't, as you can see here. Shoot that, pop it, move on. The last one is found at the bottom of this staircase. Clear the room and then head on over to the back left-hand corner where you will find the last yellow cross. And below it is the last purple balloon. So you want to shoot that, pop that. And once you've done that, you're going to get a notification that will come up saying, Enter a secret room. You follow the marker. And you will enter this secret room, which contains a weapon box and just two little bags there. Now, unfortunately, the weapon box doesn't contain anything special here. It's just a standard weapon box, which actually is a really huge, huge letdown, to be honest. Considering this has taken, what, six months to be found? Um, it's a real shame that there wasn't something unique in here. But overall, just a really cool little Easter egg type secret room. Uh, and the room itself, you know, is pretty cool and all of that. But... I did expect more in respect to rewards, but oh well. Last but not least, and I just wanted to show you the two best pickups this week from the vendor reset. I don't normally do this stuff, but I thought I'd just you know put it in this video in case anyone was wondering. Now the first one comes from the DZ East vendor, and here you're going to find this Gilligard vest with 22% total armor attribute, which is pretty good. Um, you know, it's pretty good. And the second one is actually at the Theater Settlement. Uh, there's a pair of Ariolda holding gloves with 11% rifle damage. I've actually picked up some of these in myself because I've really needed some rifle damage kind of gloves. But who knows, this may all change with TU6. They might actually just change all the rifle stuff and just have flat damage. We don't know what's happening, but for right now, if you need those two, there they are. Now that is for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this one. And if you stuck around until the end, I do really appreciate all of your support. I'm excited for State of the Game this Wednesday and I will absolutely have it covered, so please Turn on your notifications, I will put out a video breaking it all down for you. Probably going to be somewhere around, you know, 5, 6, 7 BST, somewhere around that sort of period. So make sure you look out for that. Overall, 
as I said before, just really excited for TU6. I think TU6 is going to be huge. And as I said, from what the ETF members have come back and said, I, I doubt very much they're all lying. Let's be honest, guys. I think they're being genuine. Uh, if they're saying what, the, you know, if they're that excited, then I'm excited because I know that these members that have gone, certainly the ones that I know, are quite critical. And that's a good thing, which makes me even more excited that they're excited. Hopefully that makes sense. Anyway, I'm rambling. Until the next one, which will be on Wednesday, have a good one. Epic out.